What's going on, everybody? This is Renegade number one, aka the feminist killer, hashtag logitory. You live in a fucking simulation. There's no it's or buts about it. Now, the most dangerous type of people are the people that don't know that they live in, in a simulation. Because at that particular point, when you don't realize it, then they have you tricked. They have you manipulated. They have you brainwashed. And for the most part, if you find yourself doing the same things as everybody else, you've been tricked, you've been bamboozled, you've been ramrodded, you've been controlled by the puppet master all of this time. Your whole life until now, you've been controlled by the puppet masters, the elites, the, um, the advertisements, right? understand something people just because people have a smile on their face and they tell you to get something does not mean they care about your best interest they care about themselves humanity is a fucked up place this world is cold right and so this world that they call the real world is really a simulation of everybody being a rat everybody's a cockroach Right? No one cares about you. Never have, never will. And you gotta understand, once you under once you have that awakening moment, you have to you have to start to realize what you're up against. Right? Understand that, okay, I realize there's no hope. I realize that um, you know, I gotta take the black pill. Now what happens? Well, first, you got to go to the next step. Um, and gang stalking. That's something I want to talk about. Um, shout out to a brother. I forgot his name. Gang stalking simulation. I'm going to put his uh, channel out there. He's pretty good. But a lot of people don't buy into it, but it's true. You know, every time you go out, there's always people walking by and there's always people listening because human nature human you know what I will say this these people out here are not humans they may look like you they may talk like you but at the same time they operate in a robotic manner you know we're taught to submit we're taught to do the same things we're taught to provide and all that other shit but at the end of the day, you're just another robot in society that's paid to provide a service to keep society up and running. The thing is, what we need to do is leave the workforce, leave the system and let the workforce and the system collapse on its own. Unfortunately, since people need to pay bills and they're afraid of taking risk, the average person is. The system will always continue to up and run because we're intimidated. We're afraid of what happens if we don't submit to the authorities and we don't follow the elite and we don't, you know, uh, do all that other shit that we've been taught to do our whole lives. So the thing is, the system is always going to remain strong. That's why I have always said in the last video, you can't escape the matrix if the people continue to work to build the system. If you continuously work to build the fucking system, how can we leave the matrix? You know, I know some of you were saying, oh, you can leave the matrix. That's not true. No, you can change your mindset. You can be black pill. You can be red pill. You still got to operate with blue pill people the rest of your fucking life. For the rest of your fucking life, you will always be interacting with blue pill people. That's you being in the matrix. Now, I never said you can't change your mindset. Of course, you can change your mindset. You don't have to be blue pill. These other motherfuckers out here, they're going to be blue pill. Bitches are still going to use you for status, attention. Guys are still going to front on you. You're still going to be expected to be a utility. That stuff is not going to change. People are going to expect you to follow society's norms, expect you to conform. That's not going to change. That's what I mean by you can't escape the matrix. 
But again, you live in a simulation. Obviously, if you understand human nature, study human nature. We operate like animals. We have to have order in this world. And think about it. Order means somebody has to be on the bottom. Somebody has to be on the top. That's what that means. We live in a world of order. That means there's somebody pulling the strings. There's somebody in control. Always. And if we want that to change, we have to go against the system. We got to start educating ourselves. We got to read. And again, it's not an easy task. Individually speaking, yes, you can pull your mindset out of that bullshit. But unfortunately, you can't literally unplug. And so my thing is, understanding you live in a simulation is the hardest thing. Chasing your desires. Um, that's the biggest thing. Because again, this system thrives off of your desires. They, they make money off of the things that you like and you don't even realize it. That's what life is about. Life isn't about anything profound. It's not about love. It's not about unity. It's not about none of that bullshit that they tell you. It's about making money off of the next fucking person. It's about making money off of the next fucking person. Everybody's selfish. Everybody's out to get their own. That's why I say there's you can't put your faith in change. The fact that you have faith means you're still blue pill. You understand? And so what can you do to not continuously make these same mistakes? Obviously, like I said before, you got to take like for me, I take notes on myself on what I do wrong and I review those notes. I have a diary of shit that I write down. You got to understand the gang stalkers, they don't want you to leave the matrix. That's their job. If you follow if you follow mainstream media, you're being counterproductive because if you're trying to leave the system and you're following mainstream ideas, you're contradicting yourself. You're not helping yourself. And you got to understand the everything that you see in the media all the pe the blue pill people, all the NPCs, the non-playable characters, the secondary characters, all the regular people in the Matrix that don't understand that they're being controlled. Those are NPCs. Um, those are the people that want you to be in the Matrix. Those are the people that want you to remain uh, uh, oblivious to what's really going on. You understand? It's, it's difficult. Sometimes I battle with it, but I have to accept it every day that our system, this system's coming to play. So the system is never going to change. The system is always going to be the system. The system is undefeated. Now, with that being said, going back to what I was saying earlier, Changing your mindset is the best thing you can do. And that's the best thing to combat being in this system. Right? And so <clears throat> you have to get into philosophy. That's the number one thing. If you don't want to come back to this shithole, if you are tired of suffering every fucking day, if you're tired of suffering, you have to get into philosophy. Philosophy brings understanding to your life. Again, philosophy brings understanding to your life. You know, for those who don't want to get into stoicism, there's, I'm going to just say this. I don't know all the philosophies. There's thousands of philosophies. I can't go through all of them. I'm just giving you the stoicism, the Buddhism, you know, the ones that give you understanding of human nature, understanding of desire, understanding of detachment. To, to to ease suffering those are philosophies you need to get into that's that's why for me over the last few months almost a year now 
Um, when I left MGTOW December of 2019, I realized that MGTOW was not enough. MGTOW was never enough. Bitching about female nature over and over again created suffering for me because the more I talked about it, the more I saw it on a regular fucking basis, I realized I'm like, okay, this shit ain't taking me nowhere. It's making me more depressed. You know, depression leads to more negative thoughts, suicidal thoughts. And it's just like, okay, now I got to stand back and ask myself, how is complaining going to help me in the long run? How's it helping me mentally? How's it helping me physically? And so I realized when I turned towards philosophies and studied philosophies, that brought more self-healing, more self-gratification to me. You understand that helped me improve in the long run. You know, again, stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. Stop worrying about this outside world. Change your values. And that's the thing. You live in a you got to understand not only that you live in a not only do you live in a simulation, but you live in a world full of toxicity. And so the thing is, you have to change your values. Again, if you continue to value the same things, you're going to continue to have the same results. You cannot put your happiness in values, especially external values. And so that's the thing that we have to we have to uh, acclimate our mentality to is changing our value system and getting more into philosophy. And once you get more philosophical, once you gain more understanding, once you start educating yourself on your own time, um, really, you start finding growth. You know, again, stop caring about your fucking appearance. You don't need to worry about your appearance anymore. You don't need to to go to clubs anymore. You don't need to worry about if a chick finds you attractive or not. If you need to learn how to embrace your fucking faith, right? If somebody doesn't like you for you, that's a positive. You don't need that person in your life. If that person likes you for you, that's a good thing. Maybe they need to be in your life. But, you know, you should look at life as half full, half full. Look at the glass as half full, half full. Life doesn't have to be a negative situation. You know, um, again, you're fighting a legion of demons. You're fighting a legion of blue pillars, an army of blue pillars. And so that leads me to my next thing, you know, gang stalking right you're constantly under surveillance from people who are blue pill when you go to the grocery store you're being gang stalked when you're going to the gym you're being gang stalked when you're moving anywhere in public the public eye you are being watched because again you are in a simulation think outside of your normal mindset if you go into this having that blue pill mindset, the blue pill conditioning that you previously had, you won't understand anything I'm saying. And that's the thing what I had to do is three years ago, two years ago, maybe even one year ago, I would have laughed this shit off, the things that I'm saying. But I had to dissect my mind. I had to evolve my mind. And I had to step back and look at things from a logical view and realize okay yeah it is reality you know most people don't understand most people hate being different most people hate to see the truth objectively most people will rather see the truth subjectively because it creates their own it, it gives them some type of satisfaction right when you can create your own world and believe what you want to believe but there's nothing more tougher and more difficult than seeing the world for what it actually is. And so when you when you see that you're being stalked and when you're being ridiculed and the army of demons and the army of uh, people who are castrating you are, are uh, not castrating you, but ridiculing you and shit like that, it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of pressure and again you don't have to be on this shit alone so 
the number one thing you got to realize is when when you're dealing with these gang stalkers or you know mp uh npcs is take notes like i said the first thing you want to do is get a diary write shit down what you see in society what you observe in society observe people's behaviors by writing it down observe your own behaviors by writing it down and then you focus on it the thing is a lot of people don't realize that they're doing blue pill shit because they're not observing themselves they're not writing and taking notes on themselves again you got to study yourself to know yourself you have to study yourself to know yourself and and that's it man um i think repetition is the biggest hell on earth again repetition doing the same thing over and over again it will make you go crazy it will make you go crazy to the point to where you want to kill yourself you know again you want that new awakening you want that next level consciousness how do you get to that next level consciousness you got to evolve in your thinking you got to work on yourself you got to look at your flaws you got to change your environment change your friends stop thinking that your ego is bigger than everybody else i'm gonna tell you right now you as a man you ain't shit to this matrix you are you are you're not shit to this system i'm not shit to this system if you think you can beat the system you need to check your ego that's your ego talking i made a video on egos your ego will keep you from learning new things and evolving because if you already think you know what the fuck you're doing you're gonna stay put you gotta accept that i don't know everything i need to learn and i need to continue to grow once you humble yourself you will see things from a different light when you continuously wear the same shades the same glasses continue to see things in the same lens for the for the longest you're gonna be stuck and again for the longest i've been saying insanity and repetition is is a mental fucking illness if you know two plus blank doesn't get you the right answer you need to change the answer you need to change the formula and so um i want you guys to watch a movie called uh invasion of the body snatchers that's their goal that's society's goal that's the matrix goal is to snatch your mind to snatch your body once they control your mind once they brainwash you with the things that they want you to believe they can get you to do anything they control you right and so look at it um technology smartphones all the apps you can use right for example that creates this is why i say you should leave technology behind a little bit and go dark for a little bit because smartphones technology apps it makes everything accessible it makes everything convenient but at the same time it makes us into addicts and that's what society wants to do society wants you to be an addict not only a drug addict but an addict in regards to you gotta you gotta get your next fix you gotta keep fiending for that next app you gotta keep fiending for that next you know source of attention that next source of dopamine and the reality is a lot of everybody people don't want to suffer nobody wants to suffer that's the reality nobody wants to suffer everybody wants to live on this incessant constant dopamine rush that's not realistic you're going to you're going to endure suffering but if you're going to endure suffering you should endure it for the right reasons and that's only on you to figure out you know um you got to sacrifice your humanity to reach that next level of consciousness you have to sacrifice your humanity that is something that you have to sit down with no tv no phone and you got to really sit down and think about this shit. you got to sit down in a quiet room and reflect on do i want to sacrifice my humanity do i really want to live this life 
for the rest of my life, being black pill, living this life, living in this uncomfortable truth. But, you know, um, do I want to live that or do I want to live a lie? You know, if you want to believe whatever you want to believe, then this channel is not for you. If you want to believe whatever, if you want to believe what the masses tell you, then this channel isn't for you. Everybody is a liar. Everybody has sold their souls. Remember that when anybody who's got to the top of the system, they sold their souls to get there. For the most part. They kissed ass better than you did. They were faker than you. They put on their their uh, their mask. They did whatever they had to do to get there. Fuck that fake it till you make it shit. Be as genuine as possible. Don't change for nobody. At the end of the day, if a person doesn't like you, they don't like you. And again, you got to understand most people don't have that courage. For you to have that courage, that speaks volumes of your mental toughness. No one can talk shit about you. And if they do, who cares? A person's opinion of you is none of your business. That's their business. The fact that they took time out of their day to talk shit about you or to talk behind your back, that tells you that they have some problems with themselves. Take the black pill. Elevate your thinking. Get into philosophies. Jot down things. Realize you're being stalked. Make a channel. Reach out to each other. Create a network. You know, and I think that's something that we all need to talk about is creating a, a network of men who can communicate with each other. Communicate with each other. And and that's all it is. If you feel lonely, depressed, don't go, don't turn to alcohol. Don't turn to weed. Those things won't last forever. But create a network of brothers where, okay, if you if you feel down, one person can talk to each other, give each other advice, give each other, you know, consoling. And we, you know, we, we pick each other up. If you don't want to do that, I mean, you can read whatever works for you. If solitude works for you, then be in solitude. Find a healthier coping mechanism. But understand, I'm not going to take back what I said. You can never leave this system. You got to learn how to combat it. That's the thing. You got to learn how to combat this system. And how to do that is by obviously um, not partaking in it. Um, and obviously just changing your perception on things. Gaining more knowledge. If you continuously starve your brain of knowledge, then how do you expect to get the result that you want? If you're not putting in the work, you're not going to get the result. Everybody wants the result, but they don't want to go through the strenuous exercise to get there. Everybody wants to be buff. They don't want to go to the gym every fucking day. They don't want to go five times a week. They don't want to go three hour sessions. You got to go and do that. That's what your brain is. Your brain is a fucking muscle. You got to work that motherfucker out every day. Read. Write. Constantly learn new things. But... That's the truth of understanding things that you uh, must do. So, uh, yeah, this is Renegade number one. Like the video, share, subscribe. Peace.